So on to this week's tip, and maybe a bit of an unusual one this week. Basically, I was asked to do umlauts walkthrough videos for motors. I covered that earlier on in the show. They also asked me to put together a very short video to show how to install snapshots for contact in uh, full version contact libraries that don't run as contact player libraries. So that involves moving the snapshots yourself. You have to move them to a folder in the native instruments user directory. Now, personally, I always forget where I'm supposed to be putting these on my system and I always end up having to look it up. But this week I actually learned a new way of finding it from within contact itself. And that makes the whole process much more simple. So here's my little video that I did for Umlaut Audio as it applies for motors, but you use this exact same technique for any libraries that require manual snapshot moving. Do enjoy. Motors downloads with this file structure and there's a folder named Snapshots. These files and folders need moving to their correct location. The easiest way to do this, whether you're using Mac or PC, is to load up contact with an instance of your instrument, motors in this case, then navigate to the wrench icon and click this opens up the edit menu, click instrument options, then snapshot, then the show button. You may be asked to create a folder, click yes if this is the case. Then all you need to do is copy all of the files and folders from the snapshots folder I showed before into this newly created folder. Closing all of the contact windows and exiting edit mode with the wrench will take you back to the main contact interface where the snapshots are now available. Thank you so much for watching. That's just a small taste of the Samplecast, a weekly podcast and YouTube show for sample library geeks and plug-in enthusiasts. You can find out more information at thesamplecast.com. Don't forget to subscribe.